Hello, I'm Pastor Mark Brown. I'm coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Our text for today, our, our verse to consider, is a single verse from John chapter 10. It's the words of Jesus, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Four weeks ago or so, I asked you that question, if you died tonight, do you know for sure what would happen to you? And the second question which follows it, if God were to ask you, why should I let you into my heaven, what would you say? Many of us learned to pray, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray thee, Lord, my soul to take. I know of a lot of parents who added two lines or more onto that prayer. If I should live for other days, I pray thee, Lord, to guide my ways. You know, there's the possibility that people look at Christianity only as death insurance. I believe in Jesus because he will take me to heaven and I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to remember it every day. It gives me great joy and confidence. But what else is it good for? My life here goes on from day to day. Does this make any difference? Chances are good that when we say our final prayers before we fall asleep at night, we will wake up the next morning. And if we do, since we will do that, I pray thee, Lord, to guide my ways. Jesus' words here in this single verse say that Jesus did, came not only to give us eternal life, but also to give us a full life, a super abundant life. We are inclined to think that that may mean lots of money or good health or all the things that I have in my wish box being fulfilled, going to exotic places, having the perfect family. Jesus may give us many of those things, maybe even all of them. But the superabundant life that Jesus is talking about has different components. The superabundant life is a grateful life because we know who and what we are. Jesus' willingness to, die, to live in our place and to suffer our death at the cross means that we always know who we are as redeemed children of God. We are always grateful that our eternal destiny is taken care of and our life on earth is under his guidance. Secondly, the superabundance abundant life means a useful life. You and I are not here just to be entertained in every way possible. We, you and I are here to be a blessing to others. And there are many different ways that we can be blessings to others. We don't have to try to be something we're not. Um, we don't have to wait until we complete a formal education or when we get a call to go someplace halfway around the world. If you cannot speak like angels, if you cannot preach like Paul, you can tell the love of Jesus. You can say he died for all. The superabundant life is also a joyful life. Joy isn't quite the same thing as being happy. My guess is that if you asked a group full of people on the street corner, what do you want out of life? Most of them might say, I just want to be happy. But we know that life can't be happy every day because happiness is so often dependent upon our immediate circumstances and situations. And there are days when we're not happy and we have every reason not to be happy and people would wonder if we are entirely well balanced if we were happy in spite of loss or death. But joyfulness is a larger idea. It is an overarching sense that my life is important to God and to others and so I can live confidently and with a certainty that um, every day is a day filled with God's blessings and his joy. If you should live for other days, pray, O Lord, that he would guide our ways. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to be grateful for the life you've given us. In spite of the troubles that may come to us and our own sense of mortality, Help us to know that we have a grateful life because we have a future that you have 
pre prescribed for us and that you go with us in it. Help us to have a useful life, finding ways to be servants to others, even in the small everyday events of life, that we do not live for ourselves, but for you who died for us and for others. Help us to live a joyful life, confident that you will care for us every day. We pray this in your name. Amen.